What's good, Wells Nation? It's your boy Wells coming to you with another Apex Legends video today. Now, today we'll be reacting to the Apex Legends Chaos Theory Collection event trailer. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I know we get a new uh, town takeover. Uh, Caustic's town takeover is coming. And we're going to go over the patch notes and see what they're bringing. Hopefully, cross progression. I haven't read, read them yet. So, hopefully, pro cross progression is coming sometime soon in these patch notes. Uh, yeah, but without further ado, you know, you know what to do. Drop a like, comment. You know, and if you want to subscribe, that's on you. If you don't, oh well. And let's get right to this video. In the end, the strong will filter out the weak. The distance between life and death is measured by suffering. I like that skin. Nothing like cold steel on a hot day. Ooh. Bring the moving, run, run, run. Wait, heat shield projects a dome that protects the legends from ring damage. Wow. This looks amazing. Death awaits. Wait, does it shoot it with gas? Does... Oh, it's lit! Yo, that is lit. Oh, that is beautiful. Caustic Mains, I'm going to tell you now. If you do this to me, I am reporting you. But I got to play Caustic because this, that's, oh my God, that's lit. Wait, is that a recolor for an Octane skin? My bad, guys. I know you guys hate it when I pause it so much, but is that a recolor? Well, one, that is a re that is a, a wingman. That's most likely going to be one of the limited editions, which is cool. That's like an Octane recolor skin. Uh, Honestly, that, that looks pretty dope too, so... Wow, this looks amazing. This was an inevitable outcome. You believe you don't deserve to die. <laughs> you overvalue your place in the world. Oh my God. That, that. That's amazing. Hey, that 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 right there, that's amazing. Let's go back to this bang. Nothing like uh, well, one. Nothing like cold steel on a hot day. I like that water treatment got a whole re re redo. Ah, if you want to be honest, it don't look like they really redid much. We're gonna be honest, but it still looks cool. It's it's dope. I'm excited to see Kings Kane with nothing but town takeovers. Where's the bang heirloom? This heirloom looks sick, and I like the animation of her pulling it out. Like, let's let's just watch that real quick before we get to the patch notes. Nothing like cold steel on a hot day. Look at that! It, that's beautiful. Hey, if y'all still got some heirloom shards, make sure y'all cop that because Bangalore, by the time she got some love. <laughs> and that's the revenant skin that's gonna come from the collection of it. I like it. I think that that skin is awesome. That, that's a beautiful heirloom. I'm definitely copying that. All right, enough of that. Y'all already saw. We're not going to rewatch it again. Let's get right to these patch notes. All right, we already know the Chaos Theory Collection event. We just saw the trailer. They said the Chaos Theory Collection event kicks off March 9th to the 23rd. And this is what they will be talking about today. The launch of Apex on the Switch, you guys already know. If not, I did a reaction video of, of some Switch gameplay. It was, But I'll leave it down in the description below. Just go check it out. Uh, Cost of Town Takeover, the Ring Fury Escalation Takeover, which the ring don't do you damage, the new heat shield item, and accompanying survival slot in your inventory. Okay. That's what we saw in the Switch. Um, I don't know if you guys watched the Switch trailer, uh, Nintendo Direct, when they released Apex, but yeah. Oh, they had a no field queue for the Brave or the Cocky Solo Legend. So most likely, I'll probably will try that since I play most of the time by myself. Uh, the Chaos Theory event. And it's associated war shot collectible cosmetics and the new Bangalore heirloom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now let's that's that's what they're gonna talk about. Let's let's get it. We already know. It's coming to the switch. Now, if you log in on the switch, you get this custom Pathfinder skin. And honestly, I think everybody should get it because that's this is probably gonna be a one and done skin. So pick it up if you want a legendary skin in the future. We got cost out takeover. We already saw that ring fear escalation takeover. Heat shields and the survival slot. Ring Fury is a new Apex playlist takeover that follows regular battle royale rules, but each round one or more ring flares will appear on the map. 
within the current ring. Ring flares are slowly expanding pockets of the ring within the arena. Oh. Those who get caught in a ring flare take damage equal to the damage dealt by the current round's ring. You'll be given a short warning. Mm. I'm excited to try this out. I want to see how this is going to work out. Heat shields. During the ring, fear escalation takeover. All players will start with a heat shield in their inventory. Undrop. Throw down your heat shield to avoid damage from ring flares or from the ring itself. Remember that you can always find more. The loot pool for this event has been tuned to spread heat shields out there. Okay, nice, 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 nice. And survival slot. You notice that the heat shield doesn't take up any of your normal. Okay, so boom, heat shield already there. All right, all right, all right, whatever. Boom, we out of that. We out of that. We out of that. We already know. Okay. Mm. Like previous plays, take over ring fear will replace regular duos and trio plays for the two week duration of the collection event. Rank could not be affected. Mm. Oh, they going to crank it up this time. Yes, yeah, sir. I don't know what I'm talking about. So pretty much they're saying throughout the days of the event, they're going to crank up the ring theory escalation takeover. So it should be harder. Uh, in some rings will hurt more or less. We'll see how they do it. Honestly, I'm excited. That's good. Change it up for us. All right. No field matchmaking. No field matchmaking is a new way to play the game as a solo legend. Here how it works and why you might choose to use it. All right. In the lobby, this is good. And we're going to read this all the way through because we didn't know for us solo legends out here. In the lobby, you will now see a checkbox entitled Fill Matchmaking. This means the matchmaking system will attempt to fill your squad to duos or trios, whichever you queued for. This is how the game has worked up to this point and will be the default setting after every match you play. I'm checking this box and clicking play will send you your part into your selected place while filling your team with other players. Hmm. So if you solo queue into trios with field matchmaking unchecked, you'll go in alone. You'll be on a team of one against team of threes. <laughs> oh my God. We strongly believe that at its best, I feel like it's a game about team play, but we're launching this no field matchmaking as option for solo players because we think it gives a lot of a lot of creativity. Create creativity. Ah, I can't even say the word. Creativity opportunities for you to play the game your way. Here's some things you might want to focus on. I uh, want to use no field matchmaking for focus on completing certain daily and weekly challenges. Warm up, drop high, and get into lots of fight. Challenge yourself. Can you win around duels long? How about trios? Experience the latest lore teasers on your own. Support the map and experiment the characters you have been tried before. Take time to learn a bit more about the game at your own pace. We have some limitations in place for no field matchmaking because we don't want it to greatly disrupt the experience or pacing of the game for other players. We only allow six potential no field players in any match, and the feature isn't available in rank. Smart. Okay. These are um, the collection event awards and trackers from Charms. A nice uh, Horizon skin. You can earn a thousand points per day. Whatever, we won't care about that. Ooh, these are some nice skins. These are some nice skins. These are some nice. I don't like that Pathfinder, but them are some nice skins. All right, and then there's a the fully texturized look of Bangalore's heirloom and her animations, and mm, that looks. Gorgeous, that looks gorgeous. All right, what else? Update legend updates caustic non gas grenade cooldown increased from 2.5 minutes to 3. Thank you, guys. At the at, the, at a flat rate of 5 HP per tick instead of ramping from 6. Thank you. Dev note caustic is brutally effective at slowing down engagement. Yes, the entire of his kid revolves around gas with a large area effect, slow vision. Yes, thank you. We don't care. I don't care about your note, bro. Thank you for doing that. Pathfinder, remove low profile. Yes! Woo! I can play my legend again. Low profile has been used as a balance tool for both mobile and small legends. Although Path is still mobile, his hitbox is large. Yes, it is. While his overall win rate and the counter win rate is by no means low, it's hard to just by keeping low profile on a hitbox. It's thank you. Thank you. Hey, all the Pathfinders, we coming back, baby. I'm coming back. All right. Gibraltar, remove remove 15% faster heal item usage while in zone protection. Thank you. Take away the gun shield or have bullet penetration. But this is a start. Horizon, increase black hole cooldown from two minutes to three minutes. Yes. Revenant, silent not disabled the Mirage Cloak, revive and respond as well as obtain swift men. They just keep making this dude overpowered and overpowered. He takes away everything. 
Watson now has a passive shield regain at 0.5 HP half of Octane's current health regenerate. Oh, nice. That's dope. Ramper, explosive damage and cover normally instead of inflicting 200 damage. Uh, explosive damage shield normally instead of inflicting. I'm saying, what? Ram explosive damage amp cover normally instead of inflicting 200. What? Who wrote this? I know I can't read, but who wrote this? Before Ramper shit, we were worried that her nest would be too oppressive, and so we gave any player the option to clear them out with grenades. This wasn't necessary as it turns out, so we're moving increasing damage from grenades against amp cover shit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm. Weapon meta. All gold AR and LMG default optics updated two time bruiser. Yes, let's go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Massive pellet damage to decrease from 13 to 11. Fire rate from the goalie changer out to place his weapon identity between the fast fire evade and the heavy hitting PK. The match that comes with dominant close quarters. I don't, we'll see how much it do. I don't, I don't think it's gonna do much. Wingman gets. On one bullet. If you guys didn't know, season one, we may have twelve bullets. Hemlock increased fire, hit fire spread, and um, yeah, that's. Hold on, let's see. Quality of life changes. Uh, this caught my eye. Lock weapons, optic swapping for guns with fully, fully locked attachment slots like fully kitted gold weapons and most crate weapons. You can now remove the optic and replace it with a different side. This is not apply to crate. <gasps> they brought it. Oh, wow, thank you. They brought it. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you, Respawn. Thank you, thank you, Respawn. Th thank you, Respawn. Thank you, thank you, Respawn. Hey. For badges to have longer amount of progress, hovering over the badge will show you more information. I don't care about that. that that's cool, though. But. Or it's fine on a drop ship. You can now pin your own devil to help locate these. That's dope. Gold pad players. They added a lot of stuff. And this is only half of what they're talking about. Wow, I'm sorry. This is actually way longer than what I expected it to be. Gold pad players being revived by a gold pad will not will have a crackle of energy based on the tier of armor they wear while revivers take place. They also display the armor heal FX. Revivers, this should help players for pushing a revive in progress. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. I, I I like that feature. That's dope. So now you see. Okay, okay. Players on PC can now go back to the touch screen from the lobby to allow switch for days. So thank you. Since the survival slot took its button on controller, we only have we have only so many buttons. Inspect weapon has been moved to the emo wheel by default. It can be bound to any key on PC. Yes, sir. All right, all right, all right. That's that's it. That's that's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's it. All right. I know that was a little long, way longer than I really expected it to be. But what did you guys think of those patch notes and the trailer? I loved it. I think it's amazing. And uh, yeah, if I would have more time, I would have cut it down quicker than that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, like, comment, and if you want to subscribe, that is up to you. And you guys have a blessed day. See you guys on the next one. Peace.